station on space to ground. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's CubeSats. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Dan Hewitt. A veritable fleet of small satellites were slingshot into orbit from station this week. All were deployed from the NanoRacks device on the end of the Japanese robotic arm. They'll be studying everything from using star fields for navigation to cosmic background radiation to the Earth itself. One highlight is the ice cube, which will perform first-of-a-kind measurements of ice particles in clouds, which could help understand how cloud ice affects weather and how clouds process atmospheric radiation. Another is the collection of QB50 satellites, which came from countries around the world to study a previously inaccessible zone of the atmosphere called the thermosphere. If you see something growing in your space station, you probably want to find out what it is. One study is looking to do just that. The Genes in Space 3 investigation is building on the work done previously with DNA sequencing and amplification. To put it simply, the study wants to develop an easy way for astronauts to take a sample of something, process it, then use new technologies to find out what it is. This could be an incredibly useful tool for testing microbes found inside a space station, diagnosing potentially infectious diseases, and monitoring crew health in space. This could even be used by future explorers to detect DNA-based signs of life on planets like Mars. This week's Twitter question comes from Grace Ritter, who wanted to know how astronauts keep clean in space. Well, water is a precious resource in space, so there's no hot showers. Astronauts essentially take sponge baths using a small amount of water and soap to stay clean. They also have shampoo available to wash their hair and can shave just like here on Earth. They also have the ability to get haircuts using a special clipper with a vacuum attached to keep loose hair from floating away. One downside of no sinks with running water, though, most astronauts swallow their toothpaste. Keep sending your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space, space, space.